Okay, and welcome back. So I'm going to talk to you about the distance formula. And the distance formula asks you to find the distance between any two given points. Well, the thing is, any two points, if you connect them together, they form the hypotenuse of a right triangle. So as I'm showing you here, I'm just filling in the legs. But any two points, it doesn't matter where they're at, always form the hypotenuse of a right triangle. So since that's true, what you can do is you can use the Pythagorean theorem to calculate the hypotenuse which turns out to be the distance between the two points you're trying to calculate the distance for. Okay, since you're familiar with the Pythagorean theorem, I'll go ahead and write this in, and then underneath it I'll show you how to derive this formula from that. If you let x2 minus x1, okay, be the distance for a, so if you have x2 minus x1, this would be the distance for a, square it, plus the distance of b, which is y2 minus y1, so y2 minus y1 quantity squared is equal to the distance between this point and this point. So what we're going to do is call that that c squared, but in this case here we'll call it d squared. And if you take the square root of the whole thing here, you're basically going to end up with this formula here. Okay, so now that we know this, let me show you how to apply this formula. So let's say you have the point 3, 4, and that means and the point 6, 8. And what we'll do is call this x1, y1, and this will be x2, y2. Now, one time I had a student that said, hey, you know what, I, I get really mixed up with writing x2 minus x1. I have to like look over here and, you know, look over here. So what uh, this student did was they wrote the 3 and the 4 underneath it. So that way they just write this in like 6 minus 3. 8 minus 4. So if that helps you, go ahead and do that. Okay, and let me just relabel this here, x1, y1, and let's set up our formula. So d is equal to, let's see, we have x2 minus x1 like we have here in the formula, x2 minus x1 quantity squared. I'll write the square root sign in a second, but let me see, 6 minus 3, so 6 minus 3 quantity squared plus y2 minus y1, so that's going to be 8 minus 4, so 8 minus 4 quantity squared, and we're taking the square root of all that. So d is equal to 6 minus 3 is 3 quantity squared, so 3 squared, plus 8 minus 4 is 4 squared, so that's going to be 4 squared, and we're taking the square root of that. So d is equal to 9 plus 16. And we're taking the square root of that. So that makes d equal to the square root of 25, which makes d equal to, since we're talking about a positive distance, okay, this is going to be not plus or minus 5, but just 5. Okay? So if this had been inches, we would write inches here. If it had been feet, we'd write feet. If it had been miles, we'd write miles. Okay. But in this case here, we're just talking about a number. Okay. So no unit. Okay. So let's work on another problem here. Okay. So let's say you're given the points 0, negative 3, and 5, 7. Okay, so let's put the 0, negative 3 down here. Okay, now that just makes it easier to read. 5 minus 0, 7 minus negative 3. So those are x2, y2, and x1, y1. Okay, and I'll just go ahead and write the formula in for you this time, but you should try memorizing it. Okay, so it's basically this. x2 minus x1 quantity squared plus y2 minus y1 quantity squared and what you're going to do is you're going to plug a number here 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 and here and these are the numbers you're going to plug in so okay so x2 minus x1 is 5 minus 0 I kinda like that setup so it's going to be plus 7 minus negative 3 so that's going to be 7 minus negative 3 quantity squared okay and we're taking the square root of all that so d is equal to the square root of 5 squared 
plus double negation here, so that's positive. So 7 plus 3, which is going to be 10 squared. And we're taking the square root of all that. And d is equal to 25 plus 100. So I'll go ahead and write that in anyway for you. So we have 25 plus 100. And d is equal to 125. Okay, so this can be broken up as 25 times 5. So d is equal to 25 times 5. And that makes your answer, this means hence, d is equal to 5 root 5. Okay? All right, so let's do another example. All right, so let's say we're given these two points. So basically what they're going to do is they're going to ask you to find the distance between two points. So in this one here we have negative root 5. Okay, as you can tell these are getting a little more difficult. But I think you can handle these. I'm assuming by this time when you're learning this you definitely already have the uh, uh, square double square, the squaring of a binomial down already. So um, I'm going to assume you know that. If not, I have another video that talks about the scoring of a binomial. So anyway, so we know what our our formula is what we had before. So hopefully you wrote the distance formula down. I'm going to assume that you did, so I'm just going to go ahead and fill in the blanks here. So this is going to be our x1, y1, our x2, y2. And so I'll just go ahead and write this down here, so that way it's easy to fill in the blanks by seeing this 5 minus you know, negative root 5. All right, so we have negative root 5. And this is going to be our x1 or y1. All right, so this is going to be distance is equal to the square root of 5 minus negative root 5 quantity squared plus negative 5 minus negative root 5. So that's negative 5 minus negative root 5 quantity squared. And we're taking the square root of all that. So let's simplify a little bit. We have 5 plus root 5 quantity squared, so that's going to be 5 plus root 5 quantity squared plus negative 5 plus root 5. So here, just so you see this here, this is plus. So we have a plus over here too, so we're going to get negative 5 plus root 5 quantity squared. And again, we're taking the square root of all that. Don't forget to put the square root. I've seen teachers take points off for that. I probably would if I seen that. So, and then what happens is they usually forget to take the square root of it all and they think that the answer they got is a distance when in fact it's actually the square of the distance that they're actually trying to find. So, we have 5 plus the square root of 5 quantity squared. So here's where we're going to use your squaring of a binomial. So I'm just going to go through it. So basically it's square the first term, which is 25, then double the product of the 2, so that's going to be plus, and then the sign is positive, so this is going to be positive, so it's going to be plus 5 root 5, so, 10, so 2 times 5 root 5, which is 10 root 5, plus the square of root 5, which is plus 5. And again, if you don't understand what I'm doing, you need to review your squaring of a binomial. So negative 5 squared is going to be uh, a positive 25, and the product of the 2 is negative 5 root 5, so double that, and that's going to be negative 10 root 5. So negative 10 root 5 plus root 5 squared, which is going to be 5. Again, we're taking the square root of all that. And distance is equal to, let's see, what do we have here? We can get rid of this, and we can get rid of that. We have 25, okay? And we've also got a 25 here, so that's going to be 50. So that's 50. And we have a 5 here, and another 5 here, so that's going to be plus 10. So distance is equal to square root of 60. Okay, so the square root of 60 can be broken up this way. We can have either the square root of 30 times 2 
or 15 times 4. Um, I kind of like this one here because you can write this one as root 4 times 15. Okay, so let's do that. Let's do this. What if we write this as root 4 times root 15? Then our answer will be 2 root 15. Okay? If we had gone this route here, um, this could be broken up as um, 6 times 5. Okay? And here you would get... Um, you know, 6 times 2, which is 12, and a 5, that won't work out. So then this can be broken up again as 2 times 3. So then 2 and the 2 makes 4, and the 3 and the 5 make 15. So you'd be back to this anyway. Anyway, I hope these examples helped, and good luck with your homework and tests in the future, and thank you for watching.